Hello there, I'm Steve Matchett, mostly retired. Join me, won't you? Well, we have a spare 10 minutes down here at Euro Prestige Import, so I thought I'd take that opportunity to jump on camera and tell you a little bit about these two World War II Jeeps that I have, both a part of my collection. You may have seen this one before. This is my Ford GPW from 1942. It's an F-script Jeep. I love it. It was the first Jeep that I had. But you may not have seen, I'd be surprised if you have actually, this one over here. You may have heard me talk about it uh, and the fact I was looking for one and I have been looking for one for a while, but I have found it. Why am I so excited by this Jeep? Well, for this simple reason. This Jeep is a 1941 slap grill Willys. It is one of the most collectible military vehicles from World War II. This was made in 1941. It was the first year of production. Known as the slat grill because of the steel slats which make up the grill. The Jeep made by Willys and a hand fabricated grill is how they chose to do that. Now, if we go back over here and have a look at the 42 grill, you'll notice it looks a lot more traditional. It's a shape I'm sure many folks are familiar with, the kind of standard, the legendary Jeep looking grill. And this was Ford's answer to the Willie, uh, Willie's problem. Why is it a problem? Well, a little bit of history. When the war really opened up uh, with Japan attacking Pearl Harbor and all of a sudden Uncle Sam realized that we're in for a global conflict. Um, it was clear that America was gonna need far more Jeeps than the original contract with Willys. Uh, perhaps Willys simply too small a concern to supply the number of Jeeps that the government wanted. And so Uncle Sam, with the consent of Willys, went over to Ford and said, hey, can you help us out with production because we need more Jeeps? And Ford took one look at the Willys Jeep and said, yep, we're happy to do that. Um, but when you look at the grill, that is a very complex piece of engineering, hand fabricated grill. It's a military vehicle. It really doesn't need to be that. We could make a stamped press grill in just a few seconds if you'll allow us to make that modification to the drawing. The government said, yes, absolutely. And after that, Willys started using the Ford grill. Took but a fraction of the time to produce it. So, the slack grill Willys is rare because of that. This is a very low production number of the Willys MB, and so it falls with the uh, serial number of the Jeep right in that area where it should have the slack grill. But beyond the slack grill, there are, although these Jeeps actually look incredibly similar, uh, there are a number of differences between them. Now, I'm not going to go into great, great detail and bore you all to death with it, but there are a few things around the Jeep that if you're looking for the difference between a slack grill and a Ford uh, GPW um, Jeep and, and the Willys Jeep, you, you'll notice them straight away. First off, beyond the grill, which is a very easy thing to see, let's have a look at the data plate mountings around here. And the data plates, the three data plates inside the cockpit fundamentally represent, it's equivalent to the VIN number, but this is very early, 1941. Sort of pre-VIN number really. So they had a serial number and also the date of birth of the Jeep. So this is December 41 and it's mounted on the dash as you can see right there, but it is mounted flush. There is no glove box on uh, a slack grill Willys. But when we look at the Ford over here in 42, you'll notice that it has got a glove box. So that's one of the differences. Another difference that you're gonna to go to straight away, you have to look for it, but it's there. If you look at the radius on the fuel tank sump down here, the fuel tank for the Jeep, by the way, is mounted underneath the driver's seat and the filler neck is down here. So now, what could possibly go wrong with that in wartime? But the sump design down here, where the fuel tank sits, it has a more rounded radius look to it. Now, if we go around and have a look at the uh, slack grill willies from 41, you'll notice that radius on the fuel tank sump is missing. It's very much straight-sided, squared off edges. That's indicative of the Jeep being a slack grill. Other little things around the Jeep? Well, actually the gauges are 
although they look similar and they're certainly interchangeable between the two in terms of their size, their diameter and depth within the, um, within the dash is the same. There are a number of differences. If you look at the speedo between the two Jeeps, and we'll pick this up with B-roll, you look at the speedo between the two Jeeps on a slack grill, there is no individual mile an hour markings between 5, 10, 15, 20. There is on the GPW, there isn't on a slack grill. It's an easy thing for your eye to go to, and it's a definite difference between the two. If you look at the fuel gauge on the slack grill willies, well, it isn't really called a fuel gauge, it's called a gas gauge. It's marked gas, and it was only marked gas in 1941 on a slack grill, and it wasn't in 42 on the Ford. On the Ford, um, you'll see that it's marked up fuel, not gas. Great thing to look for. Also on the ammeter on the dash, let me just get the figures right on this one. Yeah, on the slack grill, it only goes to 30. And when we look over on the, I'm going to just go over to, uh, to remember, it's either 50 or 60 ammeters, uh, amps on the ammy. So let's have a look what it is on the GPW. Yes, 50. So 30 on the slag grill, 50 on the GPW. Another thing that your eyes will go to. Now, you can get reproductions of these gauges. I'm not sure how easy it is to get reproductions of those early slack grill gauges. Perhaps they're out there, I'm not sure. But again, something for your eye to look at if you're trying to decide between the two. Hey, am I looking at a slack grill? Um, it could be, for example, you might stumble across a slack grill that over the preceding 80 plus years, the slack grill is missing and some previous owner has put the Ford style uh, uh, grill, stamped grill, onto the slack grill frame, onto the bodywork. And uh, you might easily mistake that. Is that a slack grill or not? Well, that'll help you. Another little thing, if you look very closely at the bezel on the ignition, where the key goes into the ignition, the ignition switch on the dash, on the Ford GPW, it looks a bit like a beer bottle cap. It's got those sort of lines of serration around it, or a Coke bottle cap, if you like, if you're not really into drinking beer. And that's what it looks like on the, on the GPW. And when we look over on the slack grill, you'll notice it's those, those lines, those serrations are missing. It's a smooth bezel on there. So there's just a handful of things that are different. One other thing that you'll easily recognize We've talked about the grill, we've talked about the data plates and the dash and the dash layout and the fuel sump. Have a look at the rims when you look at the difference between a slack grill Jeep and the later ones. The later edition Jeeps from 42 onwards came equipped from the factory with something known as combat rims. And fundamentally they are split rims like a truck rim or, or like a scooter, like a Lambretta or a Vespa rim if you like, where the two halves of the rim come apart and they're held together by a series of studs. Easy to see when you look at the rim. And the idea behind that was that when you're in the field, when you're in Normandy, for example, um, and you want to change the tire, you can just split the rim apart left and right, change the tire and put it back together that way. The early rims were not uh, combat rims. So you'll see they're single piece pressing but they don't, they don't have those studs to hold it together. So there you go. There's just a few differences in this short video today between the Ford GPW of 1942 and the Willys Slack Grill of 1941. Hope you enjoyed that. Join us again for another episode of Match It, you know, does something. We're not really sure what.